This is question number two and it carries four marks. It says here is a list of ingredients for making 18 mince pies. We got 225 grams of butter, 350 grams of flour, 100 grams of sugar, 280 grams of mince meat and one egg. Elaine wants to make 45 mince pies. Elaine has one kilogram of butter, one kilogram of flour, 500 grams of sugar, 600 grams of mince meat and six eggs. Does Elaine have enough of each ingredient to make 45 mince pies? You must show clearly how you got your answer. So this is one of the asterisk questions. There's lots of different ways that you could do this. What I'm going to write is that 45 divided by 18 is equal to 2.5. So what I need to do is multiply all of these values by 2.5. So this is one particular approach. So if we look at butter, what we're going to have now on the butter is 2.5 times by 225 grams. So in a calculator, you can go ahead and work that out. So we're going to have 2.5 times by 225, and that's going to give us now 562.5. So 562.5 grams. So she clearly has enough butter. If we now look at flour, we can say that this is going to be 2.5 times by 350. Again, if you want in the calculator, 2.5, so 2.5 times by the 350 and we'll get 875. So we've got 875 grams. She has enough flour. If we now look at sugar, we can see that this is going to be 2.5 times by 100 and that's going to give us now 250. So she has enough sugar. If we now look at mincemeat, so just writing in mincemeat, we've got now 2.5 times by 280. So if we work this out, I'm writing this in, so we've got 2.5 times by 280, that's going to give me 700. So we can write in 700 grams. She only has 600 grams of mincemeat, so we can say our answer is no. No, she doesn't, so just jotting this down. No, she doesn't, as she needs, so writing it down, as she needs 700 grams, so 700 grams of mincemeat. So that is one way, and there are absolutely loads of different ways that you could answer that question. Make sure you're answering it, and make sure it's clear to the examiner what you're doing.